Hello and welcome to this video on the Acre 2 752 SL. The 752 SL is a radio in use by the German military. It is typically used by squad leaders and is still in use today. So if we go ahead and pick up the 752 SL, if you bring it up on screen, this is what the 752 SL looks like. So for those of you who are already familiar with Acre, the range will be somewhat between a 343 and a 148. So there are four things you can click on in this uh, interface. There is the headset cable, there is the channel knob, the volume knob, and the push to talk button. So first, let's describe how you change the volume. So to do this, like all radio interfaces in Acre, you can simply left or right click on the knob to rotate it. By default, this is the maximum volume, and we can set it all the way down to zero here. Um, but we'll leave it on to max. Now, if you want to activate the speaker, the speaker functionality, all we do is unplug the headset cable. So by unplugging it, the radio will sp switch to speaker mode, and by simply plugging in the headset again, the speaker is deactivated. So anyone who is near you will be able to hear the radio if the speaker is on. To switch channels, we simply increment the channel knob. So we're now on, I believe, channel 4. And the frequency for the channel is shown on the display, and this is in megahertz. So this is 49 megahertz. There are a total of 13 channels on this radio, but you will notice that there are only 12 numbers on this display. That's because the 13th channel is H which is a very special channel. By default, H will have no frequency assigned to it, as shown on the display by no freak. And there is also P, which is the programming. But first of all, let's go ahead and switch to channel 5. And what happens is, if you're on a channel for more than 3 seconds, it is remembered by the radio and there is on the on state on the channel knob, it will then use that channel. So this is very handy if you turn the radio off and you want to quickly access the channel that you were last. And instead of showing the frequency, it will show you the channel number on the screen. So to verify this one, hello, channel five check. And then if we go back to the programming mode, we'll be able to program the frequency. So as stated earlier, H is very special. It has this no frequency. So every time you turn the radio off, the H channel will actually lose its frequency. The intention here is that it's a bit of a security mechanism. So if you turn the radio off, it will be forever forgotten. So to program the radio, we switch to P mode. It will be presented with a channel selector. And to switch the channel that we're going to program, we simply interact with the volume knob. So we uh, flick it one state in the direction you want the uh, channels to cycle. So in this case we're incrementing, but if we flip the volume knob the other direction, it will decrement instead. So we're going to go to channel H. Alright, we've got H selected. So to confirm our selection we use the push to talk button. Now it will show us the frequency that we'll be assigning to H. We're going to start by programming the megahertz. It's the same principle again on the volume knob. You just uh, tilt it in the direction that you, if you want it to increment or decrement. So we'll go to 60 megahertz. And then if we confirm 60 megahertz, we'll now be able to tweak the kilohertz. This is all in increments of 25 kilohertz. So if we go to, ah, we'll just leave it on this. So we've got 60.25 megahertz, we'll confirm. And H is now set to 60.25 megahertz. Fantastic. And because it's now been stored as our last used channel, because we've been up for more than three seconds, which is when the backlight goes up, it will now be uh, displayed on the on channel, which is a... And here we go. We're on channel 30. On 65.25 megahertz. Great. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope it's been useful. 